Alrighty, I see a Malzahar here. So that that's already exciting for me. I'm just gonna just gonna throw that out there as my first thoughts. All right, man, that took a while. Oh, hey, you guys get to see the new KDA spawn animation thing that they decided to go with. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's that's the thing. They're going all in with the KDA skin line, so you know, I mean, that's it's it's kind of neat. I thought it was kind of neat, you know, the first few times, and, and now it's just like, I just mostly ignore it. Anyway, so here we are once again for another Bronze 5 Theater. Oh, we're, all we, oh, we're already going to have a fight up here in the top lane. Interesting. Okay, well, Rengar very firmly won that round, or won that trade. If I was the Garen, I would have backed immediately, but... Uh, doesn't seem like that's going to be happening. Uh, so hopefully uh, the, the Tristana is actually connecting here. And uh, we won't actually have like a remake or anything. This is very, very strange. I don't, I don't understand why they're fighting like this. I'm, the Malzahar is up here. The Trundle is up here. The Trundle is getting set to take the first... Okay, it, It's going to steal the, the enemy team's red buff, but also... <laughs> the Malzar took Q, level 1, which is not... That's not optimal. Definitely not. <sighs> so, once again, we have mostly normal teams here. All the, oh, the Nidalee is, uh, is on to this. Uh, although, again, I would never ever suggest ever not taking s Flash. Which is what a few people in this game did. Uh, specifically Garen, Nidalee, and Azir. Which, all of them are on the red team. Oddly enough, now that I realize that. So, uh, this Malzahar might actually be dead here. What is going on? Oh my goodness. Oh, that was an interesting little lag there. Oh my, she's, oh my god, hello. What is this? That was so, what is going on again? No, not again, please. Oh, please, not again. Oh, I can't handle that. Episode 25, you know, it's just, it's coming back to me. The Azir was all the way up there, now he's TPing back. Because, why did he use heal? Oh my goodness, what is happening? Why does he have red buff? Wait, what? Oh, he killed the Trundle. Oh, that's right. I, for some reason, I thought Malzar had it. Oh my god. So anyway, while I take this breather, uh, I'm specting through the Graves on the red team, who is Chimera 818, which is, I I remember the name, but I don't remember what game I actually watched that person play. Oh my goodness. So Tom Kench is actually back. I'm pretty sure Tom Kench is actually meta again. Uh, he, he was he went away for a while. He he wasn't as useful <coughs> as, as some other supports for a good solid while there. Um, but uh, yeah, now, now he's quite strong. I, I don't know exactly what changed, but uh, yeah, I've been seeing Tom Kench a lot a lot more lately. Uh, also, top lane Tom Kench is back as well as uh, as a side effect there. What is going on here? Is that a gentleman's? What is Garen doing? Oh my god! Uh, you never ever ever want to doubt the speed of somebody's auto attack. Like you're trying to. Here, like the mid lane, the Nidalee is down for mid already down here, trying to roam. You're trying to battle the speed of your ability, which takes us a moment to cast, versus an auto attack, which is usually instant, especially if it's a melee champion. So I don't really, I don't really know about that one. Um, so this is questionable. Very. Very questionable. What is I don't? What is Trundle doing? What I'm? What in the world? Am I? He just. Oh my god! What is happening? I don't know if I'm able. To, I don't know if I can mentally handle this game right now. This is this is already becoming too much for me to uh, to take in so quickly. Look at this! Look at this, Nidalee. Look, at, she's still down here. Like what has it? It's been like a minute. 
right? Since she came down here, uh, she spent an entire minute wasting experience in gold farm to try to get a kill, which is definitely not get, gonna be guaranteed. She's still trying. She's still here. Malzar is pushing up the lane. Unsurprisingly, if I was him, I'd absolutely be, be doing the same thing. Oh my god. Tom Kench went, went with the eat a little too late there, but I mean, Tristana didn't die anyway, so I guess it's okay. Oh my god, what is happening? Does that guy- wait, he has nullifying orb, the the, the Garen, even though he's up against a, a Graves. A, a, Ren a Rengar! I'm watching Graves. Also, then, for some reason, I almost said Renekton. Okay. A very questionable decision-making. Yeah, that's... <laughs> There's definitely, you know, I can, I can definitely say there's a lot of non-optimal play that I'm witnessing here. Uh, for some reason, t Graves has taken over mid lane because Nidalee decided to be the third bot laner. Okay, Malzar's getting speared, jumped on. Okay, he should be out. Nidalee got a little quick auto attack in there. Also, the Malzar took uh, Arcane Comet, which definitely, I, I would I, I would say no, don't. Don't take that against somebody that's as mobile as Nidalee. That's not a good idea. Um, but yeah, that's you have to land a CC spell, which in Malzar's case is his ult, which that's guaranteed. Guaranteed, you know, guaranteed Comet uh, landing on the ult. But it, I, I just, I don't think that the damage for that is justified. Also, yeah, I think it, it uh, Q, if he lands a Q as well, that the Comet will, will shoot out. But uh, again, it's just, it's so non-optimal because it's, it's, it just feels so RNG. You know, I personally, I like the guaranteed damage from Summon Airy uh, over, over Comet. Uh, I don't, hmm. Does this Rengar have Flash? No, he doesn't, but he's just gonna walk away. Why is he so fast? I have no idea. Anyway, we're at the end of the rank season now. Rank season is now over. And, um, yeah. I finished gold in two different queues, so I'm gonna be getting the. Is this guy disconnecting again? What's happening? What What is he doing? What is he doing? What What? My brain can't fathom what Trundle's logic was there. Again, I you know I've said it before. It's uh. A disco heat reference. Explain the logic. That's what, that's what I want. I want I want Trundle to explain that logic. Why did he do that? Why did he think that it was a good idea after he got nearsighted to just flash back and try to fight the Graves and Nidalee? I don't know what that was. That was so weird. Anyway, Malzar is just I what is I don't know what Malzar is doing. He's just there, I guess, in the enemy jungle, just trying to find something to uh, spend his time on. <clears throat> you know, farming creeps is just really overrated. Uh, Malzar is not very good at that. Oh, look at look at that. Look at that. Free kill. I don't know if that was his plan all along. Maybe he meant to do that. Maybe he meant to come around from the top side river and just kind of go in on the Nidalee. Honestly, the Nidalee should have gotten away from that a thousand percent. Uh, Malzar didn't even flash there. She could have just went into cougar form and then just jumped away, but she didn't. So that that happened. Oakley dokley. So this is this is definitely a game. Uh, as for me personally, so I think I did mention uh, either the last video or the video before uh, that I was on this absolutely horrendous losing streak and ranked. Uh, and, and that, I never recovered from that, uh, unfortunately. Uh, so I pretty much just gave up playing ranked, you know, I, I said, whatever, I got gold in, in two different queues, so I'm gonna get the, uh, the Victorious Oriana and one of the Chromas, which I believe was the green Chroma. Um, and, you know, I said, whatever, I'm cool with that, that's yeah, completely fine. Um, so I just decided to start doing normals again. Uh, I, I just, I feel like it's possible that either the champions that I like playing just aren't as good now as they were before um on and also i think that i i feel like i definitely was more rusty than i assumed i was because i didn't play the game for like god i want i i didn't i didn't 
seriously play the game for I, I, it has to be, it, it's got to be over six months for sure like if not more than that so I don't know I just usually when I go away for a little while and come back uh, oh that was actually kind of sneaky uh, usually when I go away for a while and come back I feel like I just retain you know the amount of skill that I had before I left you know usually when I leave off for a while it's because I get tilted you know, I feel like I, I'll have some time to, you know, just go away and, and you know, just kind of process, uh, you know, the, the, the information and, and the edumacation that I got from the games that I had done beforehand. And then, you know, just kind of learn from that and, you know, just kind of let it all sink into my head. And then by the time I come back, then I can apply that, that knowledge and then, you know, end up, be, and then end up start climbing again and, you know, be a little bit better. You know, a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better. But uh, I, this time, that was definitely not the case. Also, the red team is absolutely crushing the blue team right now. What is happening? Um, it definitely didn't happen this time. I, I came back. Uh, it was like, oh, it was October. Yeah, it was like it was like October. I think it was like yeah. It was it was exactly a month before the end of the rank season. It was October twelfth uh, when I started doing the rank games, and I spent about the next two or three weeks. Uh, playing like you know two or three matches a day uh, at most usually it's like one or two and then sometimes I'd like skip a day um, but I came back and I don't know what happened I just couldn't play the game I was terrible in everything it just felt like I was getting completely outskilled by every single opponent and ally that I had oh my goodness hello Wow, that was curious. I don't know why Tom Kench ulted there. Um, I just felt like everybody was just running circles around me, and I had no idea what was happening. And then I would look at everybody's rank, and it would be like, you know, around my rank or even lower, you know? I, I, I think I started off like gold four after my placements, and, you know, I'd watch, and I'd be like, uh, man, this, this, this person is playing really well, what's happening, and I'm looking at, they're like gold five, and like, they're like silver one or something, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm just, I'm, I, I don't know, I'm bad now. I don't know what happened there. Also, is Nidalee bottom again? What is going on? This Nidalee is obsessed with roaming bottom. She's like, if I don't roam bottom, we can't win the game. Look at, she's going straight in. Oh my goodness, is she gonna land this? Is that why the camera is watching? She's gonna land this. Oh my god, that was scary. What? Trista- Oh my god! Oh man. Oh my goodness. Huh. But anyway. So, again, it's just- I, I was playing- just, I felt like I was just playing the same way I always did. It's just, I don't know, it, it, it could be a, a massive factor of things. I, I I don't know, I just feel like the meta evolved past me, and I just, I, I can't, I couldn't understand it, you know? I just, I just felt like I was getting overwhelmed, and I was, I wasn't sure what I was supposed to be doing, and that's never a good sign, so... I just said, you know what, I, I really, I, I, I genuinely, when I went into ranked, I thought it was a good idea, but I really think that I should stop doing it, because, uh, you know, I've just been, like, falling, free falling, as it were, it, it was, it was really bad, uh, so, you know, I just figured, whatever, I'll just go back to normals and, you know, practice, whatever, just try, try, try to build it back up again, can that Graves not auto, is he not in auto range? Oh, there we go. That was odd. Um, man, that that Nidalee just didn't care. She was just autoing that right in Malzar's face. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, arcane common. Okay, it's just you just have to land ability damage. I thought it was CC because I I saw him drop an E on Nidalee before, and then the the comet didn't come out. So I was like, huh? What in the world? Oh my god, he has no mana. Yikes. Ouchies. Yeah, the blue team is getting definitely stomped here. Uh, but yeah, and then I started playing different champions. <laughs> I was like, okay, maybe, you know, Balzar is not so great anymore. You know, I'll try something different. 
So I tried Talon for a little bit, and I, the first game I played, it went really well. Um, Talon is a champion I'm is extremely unfamiliar with, but uh, I was using this one website that basically rates champions, and like it's it, this own little it's it's this own this website's own little tier basically, and the tier basically said that Talon was pretty much like near the top. He was like a, like at the very tippity top, of like all the mid laners. So I was. Uh, I said, you know what, Talon seems like a simple enough champion, I'll try him. And then the first game went really well, and then I did like three more games and they went terribly. And I was just like, yeah, that's that's enough for me, thanks. That, that was the end there, that, that's when I decided to stop playing ranked. But uh, again, I thought it was a good idea in the beginning. What the, what is going on? Is somebody's question mark pinging in? Uh, I thought it was a good idea at first because I was like, okay, you know, normals are usually extremely unbalanced. Um, what? Alrighty. So, normals are usually very unbalanced. Uh, in terms of, like, skill level or whatever. Uh, and more often than not, people play, you know, like, really goofy stuff that they would never play in ranked. Uh, you know, like, really weird, cheesy strats that just make no sense. But, you know, since it's a normal, it doesn't matter. But, uh, you know what, whatever. It, it, it's fine to just help me just get my mechanics back up. My, my decision-making and just all the basic stuff. I just felt, like, completely degraded. I, I rusted beyond rust. Wow, she's actually dead. Look at this! They haven't even taken the first mid lane, mid lane tower. But there's three people now just invading the blue team's base. And the red and the blue team can't do anything about it! Well, they got one. Malzar's ult is almost up. It's like it's got like a, there it is, it's up. There it is, you did it. They got two. I don't know what this in Italy's doing. All right, Nidalee is piecing out. But honestly, that would be the best idea here, I think. Oh my god, Rengar's going in. Also, oh, I think that was it. I think, um... So, from what I from what I learned, uh, it's like the meta is just so much different now than, than, than how I was used to playing. Um, usually, I like to play, you know, safe laners, like Malzar. Um, but I was told by somebody... That the meta is much different now. Malzar is about to just start taking the tower there. All right, good job, buddy. And he's dead. Uh, the meta has changed to the point where aggressive champions are are like the the better. Uh, like they definitely flourish a lot better. Like the the game is centered around a lot of aggressive playmaking, and Malzar doesn't really do that uh, most of the time. Like I mean, yeah, he scales well, and then you know later on he can he can do aggressive stuff. But really early on, he's like, you have to just sit there and just farm. And and I'm, I really like that playstyle. I know it sounds stupid and boring, but like it, it just it works for me. I like being able to just play safe and lane and just farm and just get uh, CS and you know potentially you know have like the jungler uh, a gank or whatever you know maybe get a kill or assist or whatever. Um, but yeah, you know just soak up the XP and just get a ton of like CS and then you know start start building up from there, start scaling from there. That's how I like to play, but unfortunately, I think that's not how the meta is good. Or, th that's not how the meta is going right now. Report Nid for Feed AFK, says the Nidalee. Report Trundle, says Tom Kench. GG, says Rengar. Interesting. Did they try to early surrender? Because if they did, it's not saying. If they didn't, then, uh, They've got about 50 seconds, as I'm watching the Baron timer, before they can actually try a 20-minute surrender. Uh, Vayne is just kind of... Eh, she's splitting. She's probably, you know, confident <clears throat> that her team can deal with uh, the, the entirety of the blue team in mid lane. Oh, that's interesting. Trundle... <laughs> Rengar and Tom Kench just parted like the Red Sea, and then Trundle just walked straight up into that spear and just ate it. Interesting. Oh my. 
Yeah, so see, I mean, there it is right there, you know? A aggressive playmaking gets rewarded. Um, I think, you know, I feel like they're doing some changes to that in the next season. They, they did say some stuff about how um, they're changing uh, turrets to have, like, these pla armor plates around them, the outer turrets. Uh, they have armor plates. <clears throat> and for every armor plate that you destroy, you get some gold, but it, it also ends up making the tower more tough to destroy afterward. Um, so, like, it, it helps reward aggressive lane pushers, but also helps champions that like to sit under the tower and farm. Because, like, they can sit on there, like, the, the, the plate gets destroyed, and, you know, the, the person farming under their tower, you know, just gets to continue to farm because their turret's not down, but the person who destroyed the plate gets the, you know, little extra bonus gold for destroying the plate. Oh my god, that was actually a really good bomb plant. Is he gonna ult? Oh, he doesn't have it. And he's dead anyway, so, you know, whatever. Man, th this is uh, spiraling violently out of control for the blue team. I'm surprised that they haven't tried to surrender. Um, they're making absolutely no plays happen anywhere on the map. The, the red team has five turrets to their zero, and they just got an infernal drake, whereas the blue team only has a cloud drake, where, you know, I mean, cloud drake's okay, you know, for the, the passive move speed, but uh, in terms of, like, you know, raw damage, again, you know, for the aggressive playmaking, uh, infernal drake is so much more, uh, worth, worthwhile. Oh yeah, yo, 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 what in the world is going on? <laughs> What are, wait, hello, Malzahar? Malzahar just realized he's in the wrong neck of the woods here. Yikes. That's really unfortunate. He didn't even, like, look to see what was happening in mid. He was just uh, uh, AFK walking down to mid. He's like, this is my lane. I'm I'm here now. So Trundle's dead, un unsurprisingly. Good lord, we... Wow, that heal was actually clutch. I thought she didn't actually need it. Who did that? Oh, it was Azir. Oh my, I just realized their Bali had two heals. Oh man, oh man, oh man. See, th this is like, if I was on the blue team, this is the kind of loss that would really disappoint me. To have something like Garen with TP Ignite. Nidalee mid with, with heal exhaust. Winning against a Malzahar. And then Azir, support Azir. First of all, just that, a support Azir. And then also with heal teleport. Uh, the blue team did just try to surrender, but somebody just didn't want to vote. So it was three, three to one. And the red team just straight up just cleans out the Baron. Easy peasy. Like, I, what is Mal, oh my goodness. Man, this is actually getting really painful to watch. This is so bad for the blue team. It's unbelievable. They just keep getting stomped. For the record, I was trying to seal it? Steal it? Maybe that's what he meant? But okay, have it. For the record, I was trying to... I don't understand what he's saying. <laughs> he just like walked up and died and then he just said uh, for, for the record I was trying to sell it but okay have it my team keeps trying to give up oh I assume that he's the one no vote o or the non vote possibly oh my god hello Tom Kench <laughs> what was that flash I think the, the, the idea with the flash there was that he was trying to flash like spit out the minion onto uh, Nidalee and try to kill her, but I, I don't know, that flash was very questionable, the just positioning of it. Man, I'm really hoping that this one ends really, really soon, because again, this is really hard to watch. I don't know why the blue team just didn't, like, surrender. You know, and, and... You know, in general, it's just, it, it's very possible to just have a bad game. You know, it's, it, I, 
I wouldn't be surprised. You know, they're just having a, a bad game. Whatever. You know, there's no reason to think that all the all five players on the blue team play like this all the time. Like, I'm sure they've had plenty of good... Oh, my God, Trundle. <laughs> Nobody. Oh, man. Oh, my God. He didn't even go. He didn't even try to go. Hmm. So, uh, I, I just, you know, I, I like to give situations like this, especially in my own games, the benefit of the doubt, and just say, it's just bad communication. You know, you just have five players who are good at what they do in general, but it doesn't mesh well with how the other people in the team play. This is a little questionable by the Rengar. I don't, what? Oh my goodness. I don't know if they meant to do that or if they're just trolling each other now, but... I don't, Rengar literally ulted just to jump onto a minion. That was questionable in itself. Oh my god, she is screwed. My goodness. Also, I'm surprised that Trun Trundle Pillar didn't pin her. Or it might have been the fact that she jumped out. But man, it looked like she got pinned against the wall there, and, and usually when that when that happens, you cannot move. That feel good, Mal's. Yes. All right. I mean, Mal's RCSing is 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 gone pretty well. Um, and, you know that's that's to be expected. To be completely honest, again, Malzahar should usually have quite a bit of CS. Um, that's, that's just, like, indicative of Malzahar, the champion. Oh, look at the... Wait, what? What? Huh? Okay, well, Malzahar's dead. Um, I think they're all dead here. Oh, Rengar had Flash, so he's not dead. Um, yeah. Yeah. This, this, this was definitely a game. <laughs> Gritty for one game. I mean... To be fair, like, what level is Malzar right now? That doesn't say, because he's dead, so I can't see it. That's kind of obnoxious. Um, I assume that the Graves is higher level, with more items, more gold, with only 15%. Uh, you know, I mean, still, 15% is still a chance. But I, I think the pure, like, amount of damage that he did was based on the fact that he's just so much farther ahead than Malzar. He's two levels ahead. With more items, more gold, you know, there's more damage. So, God, he's 13, 3, and 9. Oof, get me out of that one. Goodness gracious, that was... That was tough to watch. That, that was definitely tough to watch. Also, if you notice here, I changed my uh, my summoner icon. This is, uh, this, this is an icon that you get for uh, 50, uh, 50 worlds missions. They were doing world's missions. I think I mentioned that in a, in a previous video. Oh darn it! I just moved the window. Hope. Um, so you have 50 world's missions. I tried to move the window back a little bit, and uh, yeah, I got that icon. So I figured I'll just wear that one for a little while before changing to something else. Oh man, what a super one-sided, depressing game that was. Again, you know when I when I watch these games for these videos, I always like them to be at least close. You know, at least a little bit close. That was definitely nowhere near a little bit close. That, that was a lot a bit far away from each other. I don't know. There was just so much questionable decision making uh, just by everybody involved. I, I don't know. I, I was just kind of watching the Malzahar and it just seemed like he was doing nothing for the longest time. But and then at the same time, the Nidalee was doing nothing for the longest time, where she roamed to bottom and then sat there for like five minutes, just trying desperately to get a kill. And that in itself should translate to at least a small victory, if not for the blue team overall, at least for Malzahar, because that basically gives him free reign to just push mid. You know, just deny Nidalee a ton of CS, a ton of EXP, a ton of kill potential because she's sitting there just waiting for these kills that may or may not happen. I man, I don't know. That was really, really, there's just a weird, 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 weird game. Let's see the graphs here. Was the blue team or, or wait, where's the, uh, the gold graph? Oh, this is the one I want. 
I, oh, I think that's like if you look at the game in their profile, but anyway. Um, yeah, I was, I was going to check and see if the blue team was ever ahead in gold at any point. I think it, it might have been possible, but um, yeah, I don't know. Rengar definitely, I think he had the means to win top lane, he just didn't. Uh, Graves was, <laughs> Graves was massive, Graves was everywhere. So Graves did a huge, uh, a huge amount of uh, uh, team and stuff. But yeah, you know, in terms of like damage dealt, you know, Malzar did quite a bit. But uh, eh, I don't know. Everybody else just kind of seemed like they were just on their own little planet. <laughs> they just didn't really care what the rest of the team was doing. And that's really unfortunate that when that happens, but it does happen. So anyway, that's it for this video. If you like this video, why don't you subscribe or check out some of my other videos. There's more other ways, so stay tuned. Don't forget to like this video. And uh, yeah, if you want to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, join my Discord, or maybe if you're feeling generous, donate to me. That All those links are right down there in the video description. Oof. That was the game. Alright, well, hopefully the next one will be better. Also, I have no idea how long, how much longer I'm going to be able to say Bronze 5 Theater, but uh, we'll just have to see. We'll have to see. See you all next time.